This video will show how, by using Microfocus Enterprise suite of tools, customers can introduce modern development practices to their development lifecycle, regardless of where they deploy their code, either to the mainframe or enterprise server. To set the scene to how modern development practices can deliver value to our customers, Let's first consider the wider modernization conversation and how we at Microfocus can provide a pragmatic approach to help customers define and execute varying application portfolio strategies. Those strategies include retire, replace, retain, rehost, replatform, and refactor. Obviously, retiring an application or replacing it with a package has no need for a development environment. So the strategies we are focusing on are retain, replatform and refactor. For applications that currently deliver to business requirements and are cost effective, a retained strategy may be appropriate. Modern development processes can be used to improve time to market and improve quality whilst reducing cost. Where the application delivers to business requirements but is proving too expensive, replatforming to a commodity platform reduces the total cost of ownership. Introducing a development platform using modern practices as part of the replatforming process itself reduces the project timelines and then supports ongoing application maintenance once the replatform is complete. As part of any digital transformation strategy, refactoring the application to take advantage of cloud native or microservices architecture is desirable, but on its own carries greater risk than other modernization strategies. Performing that refactoring following a replatforming reduces the risk significantly. The modern development processes that should be introduced alongside the replatforming are essential to allowing the refactoring to take place. The first capability we are going to look at that contributes towards modernizing development processes is tools integration bringing together all the technology a developer needs and managing the workflow between those technologies. Here we see the Eclipse IDE with Enterprise Developer. Integrated into this workflow are details from the Agile planning and tracking tool used within this environment. We can also see integration with the source repository, in this case on the mainframe, but it could equally be a source repository in the distributed environment. Equally as important as giving the developer access to these different technologies is making these technologies work together. Automatically passing information between these different technologies not only improves visibility within the development process, but also reduces waste. Usually administration tasks that the developer has to perform manually, making the developer more efficient. The next capability highlight is knowledge at the point of change. Enterprise Analyzer provides intelligence supporting the maintenance and modernization of the application. Providing that to the developer directly within the IDE so that it can be used at the point at which they make the code changes provides improvements in both efficiency and quality. New within 6.0 is a direct link to the Enterprise Analyzer repository so that the developer has access to many of the analysis capabilities directly within the IDE. In addition to that, a number of analysis capabilities have been made available as IDE functions. One such function is the ability to rerun bespoke code search queries in the context of local development projects. This shows the potential change points directly within the editor, helping the developer make code amendments accurately and efficiently. Earlier in this video, it was discussed how refactoring code can be used as part of a wider application portfolio strategy to move towards cloud native or microservices architecture. At a lower level, refactoring code can improve readability and reduce complexity, which improves the code's maintainability. Producing smaller code units also increases the benefits derived from unit testing framework tooling. So let's see that in action. In our example, we have a business logic program that has a section of code that is amended regularly. Using enterprise developer refactoring tools, I can extract that code to a new component. Not only does the refactoring tool create the new component, but it automatically amends the original program to use it. As this new component is now a native COBOL module, 
I can now unit test this section of code without the need to step through a long series of kick screens and programs. Importantly, this refactoring has taken place during a day-to-day -day development task. Whether it is to introduce continuous integration or continuous testing processes used for application maintenance or as part of a re-platform project, combining MicroFocus Enterprise tools into an automated pipeline is a key component of any modern development process. What we see here is a CI pipeline running in Jenkins, although it could equally be an Azure pipeline or an AWS code pipeline. MicroFocus Enterprise tools have a number of capabilities that can be combined together to build a pipeline. Stage one is an automated provision of a testing instance using REST API calls and an import of data and resource definitions to create and configure the environment in Enterprise Test Server, introducing the concept of infrastructure as code to ensure consistency across the testing stages. Stage two combines Enterprise Analyzer and Enterprise Developer to perform code quality and standards checks against the source repository. Stage three uses Enterprise Developer Build Tools, a specific version of Enterprise Developer that supports continuous build, either of a complete application or Delta builds. In this stage, code is pulled from the source repository, whether distributed or on the mainframe, prior to the build. Stage four manages the deployment of the built components to the test instance provisioned early in the pipeline. There are a plethora of technologies that can be used for this task, including the use of the deployment automation tool from our ADM portfolio. Stages five and seven are a simple start and stop of the testing environment, so it is ready to execute workload. Stage six is the execution of automated tests. These can be both batch and online tests, which can be executed using Unified Functional Test, UFT, as well as Veristream Host Integrator, which enables patterns of 3270 screens to be exposed to services that can be executed by UFT or existing testing tools. The final stage utilizes the new Enterprise Analyzer Jenkins plugin to automatically update the application intelligence repository to ensure the analysis work is performed on the most up-to-date code. In summary, alongside the well-established capabilities of offload development and testing, such as local smart editing and local line-by-line -line debugging, using the additional capabilities of tools integration, knowledge at the point of change, refactoring code, and using pipelines means that MicroFocus Enterprise tools can be used to modernize existing development practices, whether the code is to be deployed to the mainframe with a retained strategy or enterprise server as part of a replatform.